How are you doing today? My name is Kerry Green. If you are new with us on The Morning Mindset, I welcome you. I'm so thankful that you are taking the time to align your mind with the truth of God, that you're taking initiative to get yourself on track for the day. That's really what The Morning Mindset is about. We want to be on track with God every step we take. And that's got to start somewhere. So the moment you wake up, it's a good idea to get your mind going in the right direction. And I hope the Morning Mindset's able to help you do that. We've been talking recently about some of the writings in the book of Psalms. I'm looking at chapter 6 today. If you have a Bible and are able to get it out, it'd be great if you go along with me and look at what's said here. This one has a little note at the beginning. It says it's to the choir master with stringed instruments, according to the Sheminith which was apparently a certain tune. So this one even has instructions for how this song was to be sung. And it's interesting when we get into the content of this one, that this was a song. It reminds me sometimes of of love songs or breakup songs that we hear in our culture because there's a sad tone to it. Yet, it turns around with a little hopefulness toward the end. I'm going to read the psalm and then we'll talk about it. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who will give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eye wastes away because of my grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil. For the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and greatly troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. Wow, that is quite a heavy psalm. Can you relate to that at all? There are many times in my life when I felt that I was languishing. He even says it's affecting him physically. He says his bones are troubled and he needs healing. And he's crying out to God to demonstrate his love during that difficult time in his life. Now, I don't even have to ask. I know you've been there. I know that maybe some of you are there where you're crying out to God in a very painful and very difficult time in life. You know exactly what it means when David says every night he floods his bed with tears. You understand that. You understand what it means for your eye to waste away because of grief and to grow weak. My friends, I'm so thankful this psalm is here for us to read, for us to recognize that these men of God back in days of old struggled with the same kinds of situations we did. And I'm even more thankful that God has placed their words in Scripture, divinely inspired, to give us courage and to give us heart. Because like David did in this particular psalm, we can come to a place of confidence, even though, like David, we are still in the midst of the difficult circumstance. The last three verses, he comes to a place of confidence. He says, the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. He has heard my plea. He accepts my prayer and all my enemies shall be ashamed. My friend, can you say that confidently? Can you rest in the assurance that God has heard your prayer? Not one of them falls to the ground without him hearing. Not one of them just disappears into the wind. God hears every one. And he is working toward the answer that you need. He is working for your good. I want to pray for us today. Lord, give us the strength in our faith to believe that you're hearing our prayer and that you're going to answer in a very good way in your good time. Lord, sustain our faith and give us strength in our times of weeping and moaning. In Jesus' name, amen. Join me again tomorrow.